good afternoon and welcome back today I'm going to be using up some of my gypsy peppers from my garden um, I decided to make some stuffed peppers I've used these wonderful sweet peppers in chow chow and um, salsa so today I had a big bowl and I thought I'd go ahead and make some stuffed peppers with it we've got a big birthday party July 4th weekend and so I'm going to make some appetizers you just need some cream cheese, some shredded cheddar cheese, um, bacon bits, and ranch dressing. So the first thing I do is I'm going to turn the pepper the bottom up and just run a knife through the pepper all the way through the stem. Then you just take your sharp knife and remove or cut out at the top of the pepper um, that seed pod. And I've got a bowl of water over there. I'm going to use that to rinse my um, the seeds all out from inside of the pepper. So I have a nice big bowl full of gypsy peppers that I needed to do something with. And this recipe is a great way to use those up. Again, I'm just taking a sharp knife and cutting out the seed pod. You don't want the seeds in there. But I'm leaving the stem on so you've got something to hold on to when you um, eat these peppers. Now gypsy peppers are not hot. They're sweet, kind of like a bell pepper. They have a really good flavor and they're perfect for stuffing. And these have done the best so far. My bell peppers are very slow coming, but these gypsy peppers have done great in my garden. So I'm putting those, um, rinse them and turning them upside down and letting them kind of drain a little bit. Then I'll take a damp, a paper towel and dab them and make sure I get all that excess water off. And then I'm going to lay them over on that parchment paper on the tray for stuffing. And then we'll be packing these in the freezer to, um, save for the big birthday party. Those seeds get everywhere, so a good hint is to have your nice bowl of water nearby to rinse off. All right, after I've got them all cut, I took some lemon juice and just squirted it with um, a spray bottle nozzle, and I just squirted the tops of them down just to keep the um, white part from turning brown. And now in my mixing bowl, I'm going to um, add, make my stuffing mix. And this is a bacon ranch um, cream cheese mix. I make cheese balls with this recipe and I thought, well, this would be perfect inside of these peppers to have as an appetizer. So um, I have two packs of cream cheese that's been at room temperature. I'm going to put those in a mixing bowl and I'm going to use my um, KitchenAid mixer to mix this all together. I'm just opening up the two packs of room temperature cream cheese and placing it in the bowl. Now you can pretty much do whatever you like to stuff these with. You could stuff them with sausage meat and, or like you do stuffed bell peppers with tomatoes and rice and hamburger. but this is just a really good recipe when that cream cheese and ranch dressing and shredded cheddar cheese melts oh it's so good inside of these peppers so i've got a little pack of bacon bits that i picked up at the grocery store i'm going to cut that open and add that to the cream cheese the whole pack then i've got some shredded um, sharp cheddar cheese and I'm going to measure out two cups and add that. This recipe is so forgiving. If you want more cheese, you can add it. If you don't want that much cheese, you can leave it, leave out some of it. Then I've got my Hidden Valley Ranch Dry Mix. And I'm going to add in two heaping tablespoons to this because I love ranch taste, especially with bacon. So I'm adding two tablespoons, two nice heaping tablespoons of the ranch dip. Again, you can use whatever dip you like, an onion dip or whatever. This is just what I like to do. 
So I took that over to the KitchenAid and got it all blended up and I just transferred it to this bowl to make it easy to stuff the peppers. And I'm just taking like one tablespoon of the cream cheese mixture and just slipping it off the spoon into the peppers and that's all there is to it. It's that easy. So I'll be stuffing all of these peppers. And like I said, I'm gonna put these um, in the freezer, let them get nice and frozen, then I can um, take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag and have for use later. Very easy process. You don't have to cook the or blanch the um, peppers before you freeze them. Peppers freeze very well from their raw state. This is so good. So I'm repeating the process for all the peppers and I actually did have to add um, one more pack of cream cheese and um, some more bacon bits and ranch mix, but pretty much I got them all filled nice and full. Now I'm gonna take some plastic wrap and cover the peppers and just stick them in the freezer I want to be able to use these 4th of July weekend. I wasn't sure my peppers would last that long. They're nice and fresh right off the vine. So I'm going to quick freeze these to save to use later. Now you will bake these um, in a 400 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I would check it after 10 minutes. Different ovens heat differently. So I'm just going to carefully put these in the freezer and then after they've frozen I'll take them take my cookie sheet out and just place them in that big ziplock bag. I went ahead and cooked two for my lunch today so that I could give them a good taste. Before the party I sprinkled on some chives and these were delicious. These are really good. You need to give these a try. Mm. They're so good. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm, 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 mm. So from the beginning seedlings to planting these out in my spiral um, pepper garden, to now it's harvest time. And what a great harvest this is. I just love my backyard garden. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and please leave a comment below. If you've got a good recipe for stuffed peppers, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a very blessed day.